All right then guys, in the last episode we managed to unlock the new area, the Mauritania area, which is absolutely amazing. It will help a ton with a wide variety of things. But more than anything, today we are going to be grinding out that fourth relic, which is super, super overpowered, and it will allow us to pick our own Slayer task, which is insanely useful, specifically in that Mauritania area. Can't wait to show it all to you. Let's jump right into this episode, shall we? All right, farming patch is looking good today. Let's go grab some of our buckets. As a matter of fact, I also mined some volcanic ashes, so we can now make Ultra Compost instead of just Super 1, which is significantly better. Alright, let's go grab the other side. Already 25 right now, getting closer and closer to Rainers. Can't wait for that. Well, and all that farming got us all the way up to 29 now, so for Rainers we need what level? Only 32, so it's just a bit more. Unfortunately, Herblore is way, 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 way behind. We'll have to get that up in the near future, but... Not that big a deal. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and make some new super compost up in this pitch so that next time we farm we can grab some of those, make more ultra compost. And next up we're gonna go ahead and uh, catch some more seeds from the uh, master farmer. Because I'm borderline out, I can't even make new allotment patches in the uh, in the Kaffir Bee area. Plus we now have cannabis unlocked which is another place where we can farm basically. So we're gonna need to stack up on those seeds a bit. Also for the birdhouses and stuff, want to get a few, because if I do my second run I want to be able to refill them, obviously. So, that's what we're gonna do real quick now. Damn, suddenly hit a 70 woodcutting, getting the oaks ready for the uh, house birds, birdhouses. Which also gave me uh, my another 100 point task, first level 70 skill, very nice. Cool, I like this. More than anything, we just jumped up 800 levels just from those two birdhouses. That's pretty crazy. Oh, it also gave me an acorn seed so we can plant our first oak tree. That's gonna be massive XP as well. We have to start doing our uh, tree runs on the side. Alright, finally completed 20 Varrock Rooftop Agility Courses, which is 50 total for another task completed. Now what I wanted to do next was probably a Soul's Bane, because you need it for one of these tasks. You also need to make 20 mahogany planks, which is a bit more rough due to the money requirement on that, but I'll do that in the near future. Have the apothecary make you a strength potion that's easy. So I'm gonna need to do Soul's Bane so I can complete the medium Varrock Diaries. And that is a Soul's Bane completed. One quest point, Tolna's Ripped Axes, 500 XP and hit points in defense, which is enough for a level due to the uh, increased XP. Now I can go in here and out and I should get the diary, I think. Yep, beautiful. Should have made more inventory space before going there, but I collected some red spider eggs because I also needed those to create that uh, strength potion at the thingamabob. So we're gonna do that real quick and that will be another medium task done. And now we just have the mahogany logs remaining, which uh, requires me to uh, make some money first. I'm not ex entirely sure how expensive it is, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It's 1500 GP each. 1500. And we need to make a total of 20 planks, so we need 30k for that. That's gonna be a little bit of grinding. That's like a, a, almost a third of a freaking dragon skin me, bro. And we need that just... Oh, I forgot the coins. Wait. Wait. It's not that bad. <laughs> Don't have to run back to the bank. Alright, strength potion made. So we're gonna have to grind up 30,000 GPs for that. God damn it. We just managed to get 50 crafting, which unlocks mahogany birdhouses as well as ruby amulets. Soon we'll be rocking the strength amulet. Cannot wait for that, man. That is so sick. We are now at almost 200 bow strings, I believe. Let's have a quick look. Oh, we are over 200 already. Alright, time to start cutting some juice then. Damn, one inventory of you short bows made me 12.9k. That's hella money. But I'm absolutely sick and tired of these XP rates. I want to unlock that last relic. It's taking too long. I'm sick and tired of it. We're going to rush it all out. I'm going to find all the tasks I need to do. Do one after another and we're going to fucking get it right now. Defeat a dragon of any kind. As long as it's red, blue or green. Complete it. 50 points, bury a dragon bone, boom, 50 points, easy game, let's move on. Alright, complete the cannabis agility course, another 50 points, first time in cannabis, yay! 
defeat a werewolf. That should be another 10 points, I believe. It's not that much. Yep, easy task. Might as well kill a snail while I'm here. Die. Give me the thingy mabob. Craft that into a helmet. It's another task. Now we need to catch a swamp lizard for another 50 points. It's a pretty good one. You also need a rope, of course. How could I forget? Swamp lizard caught. Worth the sacrifice of a swordfish. Pretty cool. Don't need that anymore. Ah, oh, another remaining task. This is where it gets hard, in my opinion. Demon Slayer completed another 50 points earned. Well, I've been doing the uh, Haunted Mine quest and my dumbass died because I didn't bring enough food. Very frustrating, it's one hell of a walk. Well, it's not as bad as Saddle's death, but even then, you know. I can't believe I made it. Fucking hell, that was... AIDS! That was pure fucking AIDS, holy fucking hell, man. Had to run all the way around even to grab the mushroom back and all of that, so... That was the pinnacle of not fun. It's not like I would have lost a lot of shit, it's just out of principle, you know. Ah, should have enough food now, hopefully. Finally, quest done. 50 more points. 22,000 strength XP. How much does it give me? Jesus, I gave him like 4 levels? Damn. It's like 200k plus XP, ain't it? Feral vampires. Swamp Latic's biggest enemy. Alright, it's funny because I never even mentioned why I did this quest. It wasn't just for the quest points, it was actually to gain access to skeletons and I figured I might as well do the whole thing. These skeletons right here have a chance to drop an amulet mod. Whoa, that gave me 66 strength already, damn. That's quite a few levels we got up there. But uh, these have a chance of dropping an amulet mold and I really need one. Let's go! We got an amulet mold! We also had a medium clue which I couldn't do because it was in Relica. But uh, hell yeah man, this is exactly what I came for. We got our amulet mold. Guess I sh didn't really need to do the quest, but I mean that brought us closer to the goal. Alright, let's do this correctly. Make emerald ring for one task. Oh god, thank god it didn't make all of them at once. Amen. Oh yeah, I only had one emerald on me. Close call, make a ruby amulet, but that's not quite it, I also have to string it, I'm guessing. Ball of wool, bada bing bada boom, make an, a ruby amulet, another 50 point task. Adding up now, let's enchant it as well, I don't know if that's a task, I doubt it. But we do have a strength amulet now, and we have iron gloves from uh, unlocking Mauritania. We can just do the uh, ogre one, and that should bring us to mithril, right? Or no, steel even, I don't know how you get... Mithril gloves then. But uh, that's pretty goddamn nice if you ask me. 190 points to go now. <sighs> 50 water runes have been crafted as well as reaching level 20 in all my skills as a base. Gotta get Herblore up before we can get another one of those though. That is 170 left. My uh, recorder froze a little. I fucked up. I, it teleported me away. But what I did was go to the Chaos Druid tower over here, go to the chest, open it, and it gave me two blood runes. Now why would I want two blood runes? Well, there's a very log logical explanation for it, which is to cast wave spells. That's what we're gonna do real quick, just cast it on literally anything, the first guard man, whatever the fuck I find, because that's a 100 point task. Let's get that over real quick. There we go, cast fire surge, wave, wave whatever. Cast away spell 100 points earned, very easy. Now that only means 70 points remaining. God, I really hope this works. I think catching a monkfish will give me the remaining points, but I'm not 100% sure. Might be a 50 point or a 100 point task. Wasn't even sure if I could do this, but apparently Swan Song is auto completed from one of the things I do. Yep, there we fucking go. Catch a monkfish, and now we can have. The next relic at last. I know I'm really behind in comparison to other YouTubers, but it is what it is. We're gonna go with a natural selection, of course. Be able to choose a Slayer task and a bunch more. And on top of that, 12 times XP rate after this. Finally. I wanted this in order to continue getting our fletching and woodcutting up. Because it would speed things up significantly. But that is so nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and AFK a bunch of fishing or woodcutting, whatever I feel like. 
while uh, going ahead and doing a live stream of something else. So that's gonna be nice, but this will allow me to get some, you know, really good food down the road as well. And I think I should be able to cook it, I'm assuming I can. Yeah, it's 62 for monkfish as well, so let's just get a shitload of fish out. Sounds like a solid plan to me. Alright, done with what I had to do, just finishing off this inventory of juice. Got the 71 fletching, about to be 72 when I go to the bank. And then I think it's about time we first do our, um, well, herd patches and stuff. Everything that we have to farming, farming related, as well as our bird nests. Bird houses, I should say, 72 fletching right there, beautiful. Gotta string all these bows, Alchem for the money, that's gonna help us a lot. Might be enough to get some rune armor, actually. That would be really nice. And uh, after that, I think I'm gonna start that Slayer grind. I've been really wanting to get into it. Let's have a look at the bows that we managed to get in this time. 189 U bows, long bows, and 119 plus 15 strong short bows. Not bad at all. Alking these 189 will get me over 140k, so let's go ahead and get that done real quick. Really glad I managed to get that fourth relic out of the way, that's helping so much with the XP. I mean, we're now 76 woodcutting already, and that just got us 73 fletching as well. Can I tip Onyx Bolts? That's pretty crazy. So, all together making some really nice progress. Can't wait to hit that 80 fletching so we can do magic short bows. It's gonna help a ton once we get 50 range and all of that good stuff. But in a, in a little bit, oh man, I can't wait to start that Slayer grind, just get the exact tasks that I want inside of the Slayer Tower, rush that bigger and better for our superiors, and hopefully we can make some good ass money from it all. Once we get a higher Slayer level, we'll be able to do Cave Horrors, which is level 58, and then we can start rushing towards that Slayer Helm. I wonder if Slayer points have any difference, but considering the fact that I can pick my tasks, it's gonna be really easy to get, get that Slayer Helm out of the way because you don't have to skip anything. Get exactly what we want and then we can rush for the things that we uh, well, we need to unlock. Get the Croc and then all of that. So no 74 Slayer, don't have enough for that. What we could do, whoops, wrong bows. Could do one inventory of short bows. Is that gonna be enough for a level? 11k XP? No, we're 1.7k XP off actually. Just ever so slightly. That is what it is. All right, we finished it. Ooh. A little bit of air trapped. 145k from all the augs as well as three magic levels getting us all the way up to 66. Plus the money we have left over in the bank, another 13k, bringing us to 158k total. And that's the last birdhouse. Only one seed nest but 44 hunter already. Maple birdhouses are now a thing so I can do that the next time I do a run. Absolutely beautiful. Let's plant the last one. Start catching birds. What else do I need for for that birdhouse? Oh yeah, there it is. Craft birdhouse traps from maple logs is 45 crafting, so we totally can do that. Mahogany is 50, so we could even do that as well. It's pretty good, pretty good. Isn't mahogany... Oh yeah, mahogany is 49, Hunter. So a little bit more for that, and the other ones are way out of our league. It's gonna be a long, long time before then. So let's go ahead and mine some volcanic ashes and then I'm gonna go over to Draenor, buy a bunch of seeds from the store, now that we have money for that, oh it's so nice to have money. And whenever I have downtime and I need to AFK I'll just go back to woodcutting and grab ourselves a few hundred K in you longs, you know. Got 18 Renars in total from that, so that's gonna help me later down the line when we uh, finally get snake grass, that's 18 prayer pots. Maybe I'll even try and get cosmic runes or something and then... Uh, Make some amulets of chemistry, which will then give me potential for those potions. Would be nice, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plant this toad flags and then we're gonna have to do some commentary list stuff, because uh, someone is going to bed. At this point I decided to start off by buying myself a dragon dagger from the Lost City area. I had enough uncut uh, or cut diamonds in order to access that area, so I went ahead and did that real quick. Finished off my Ogre Slayer task, managed to get some long bones along the way, which is utterly useless, but they also gave me some good seeds, including some Raynars. Really happy about that. For some reason I took a Bloodfell task as my fourth task. Very not smart, because uh, I didn't even have bigger and better unlocked, I didn't even get Slayer points yet. Completely useless. 
But we went to Hill Giant right after and we managed to get a giant key for Obor. Just jumped straight into it, not the biggest, brightest idea, but I managed to do it even though I, it cost me quite a bit of food, not gonna lie. But that did give me a slayer level, got a nice little rune longsword, another little like 20k alc more or less. And then I started to do Cave Horrors because we finally had the slayer level required. Didn't get the black mask right away though, unfortunately. Then I decided to do the uh, tasks for the Sears Village area. Wrecked them out all one after another until we had completed the easy tasks, which gave me a nice a little lamp. Had to catch a little fishy with the fish bowl and all of that stuff, but uh, worth it in the end, undoubtedly. Then we went ahead and uh, claimed the uh, reward from it, the useless headgear as well as the lamp. Used it on Herblor, gave me a shit ton of levels from like 30 to 42, I do believe. And then we made those 20 mahogany planks for the Varrock Medium Diaries. We also got a juicy lamp out of that and boosted up our herb lore even further from 42 to 52, which allowed me to make my first super attack potions. Not anything like a task, but still very worthwhile. Now planting a maple bird houses, which is very, very nice as well, gave me a bit more XP. Getting that hunter up there for the eventual chin grinding. That's kind of what we did last night as well as some things in between, but I didn't record everything. Alright, well, top of the morning to y'all, it's uh, 12.50 p.m. I just fucking woke up, like slept through all of my alarms. But I uh, was about to do some more cave horrors, I did another a whopping 100 kills last night without the mask, and on my way I auto-retaliated to one of those little... Ah, oh, I forgot my light source. Uh, fuck's sake. On my way walking, I auto retaliate to one of those jungle horrors and got 80 strength, which is my first level 80 for a beautiful task. Quite a few points on that one, so that's uh, really, really nice. Holy fuck, we just got it! Wait, what? <laughs> Two kills in. I ended up having to refresh my, uh, my full on client yesterday, because it was giving me some buggy issues when I was trying to log in. But that's a mask. Two kills since yesterday. Holy fuck. We're done. Black Mask obtained, my dudes. Alright, finished off my Hill Giants task. So I think I'm gonna start doing Moss Giants now. Hill Giants is so packed with new players that it's really hard to get even a single kill. So we're gonna switch that up real quick. Hopefully that will help out a little bit. I think I'm gonna go get that real quick because I feel like it would be preferred to use the Edge Dungeon even though it's a bit of a walk every time. But even then it will help out quite a bit to go over there rather than like using the Karamja Moss Giants or whatever because there's always people there. I feel like that will uh, help out a little bit in the long run. Moss Giants also give great, great drops, lots of seeds, cosmic runes, nature runes. And then uh, of course the Bryophyta. Getting the staff would be amazing for Alks and stuff, save a ton of nature runes. That's a genuinely good drop day. Well, Rune Met Helm, Rune Chain Body, Play Skirt, Play Lag, Square Shield, Rune Sword, Met Helm, Full Helm, even. Adamant Kite Shield, three of them, which is pretty rare, even though it's not even that good. Five Noted Eddie Plates, that's a 47k Alg, I think, more or less. So that adds up quite nicely. I think I'm gonna go prepare for that. And there we have 51 Agility, we now have access to the Edgefield Dungeon Ferox Sewers Agility Shortcut. Beautiful! That's gonna help out a lot on the Moss Giant tasks. Just gonna uh, finish off this course and then start grinding out Moss Giants like there's no tomorrow. I wanna get that Slayer Ring for Tarn, I wanna get the Slayer Helm, I wanna get bigger and better as soon as possible, there's so much to unlock. So we're just gonna straight up grind that out. The last task we just did brought us all the way up to 150 points, so we should now be able to unlock bigger and better somewhere around here. Oh, unlock. Silly me. It's 400 Slayer points for the uh, Slayer Helm. There we go, bigger and better unlock, which is also a 50 point task. Very, very nice. Can't wait to start seeing those uh, Juicy things, those uh, superiors in the near future, but we're gonna have to do some other things first. Hey, there is our first mossy key, beautiful. I wonder if I can do it in this inventory or if it's actually like hard. I don't know. Never done it before. Oh, when we get another one and a grim grimy rainer weed. Interesting. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, bank before we actually start doing those kills. 
Fuck it, we'll give it a try anyway. I need that inventory space. I always teleport out if I end up uh, getting close to dying or anything. Hopefully it will be enough. Whoa, it dies so quickly though. It's very doable. There we go, we can do this. I am gonna have to bank for another one though. A hundred death runes? Damn. That's a lot of casts. I might save those up for a Slayer Dart for Barrow Slayer. I might or might not have died to poison at the GE. Did I end up getting two more mossy keys, so we're gonna go ahead and do those and see if we can get lucky on some drops. Imagine if we get the essence within the first three kills, that would be absolutely insane. But even then, I think the drop table is really good for a game mode like this, where everyone is an Iron Man. Getting a rune item or, you know, literally whatever, the 100 death runes alone was freaking amazing, so lots and lots of potential here. That is one kill down. What do we get? A rune chain body. Well, I mean, it's an upgrade. You can always arc it later to buy a rune plate, but uh, that's pretty damn nice. And kill number two. A rune longsword. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. We can out that one for a juicy 19.2k. Adds up, you know. This is exactly why I wanted to do Moss Giants. Alright, before we even head out to our next Slayer task, and I'm gonna keep grinding uh, Moss Giants for a little while, I wanna get my points way up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bird now, a birdhouse run again. Oh, man. 162k already. Alright, I prepped some uh, maple logs and a bunch of seeds, so we should now be able to be a bit more on top of the uh, bird runs. So I've been slacking a little too hard in my opinion. 200 IQ strats right here, I can just go out of the thingy when I finish my task and get a new one here and go right back in. This is what us non-last recall players are gonna have to do. Alright, we just hit level 60 defense, gonna grind it out until level 70. Just in preparation for barrows, I want to be able to equip any barrows pieces that we do end up getting. That would be very, very beneficial. But a bit of a shame that uh, my moss giants are so high now. I want to grind up those points even faster. I also want to get myself a slayer ring. I feel like the slayer ring is going to help a lot for barrows. So I do think they count as undead. So once I have a slayer ring, I can directly teleport to uh, Tarn's lair. Get that book and imbue my or enchant my self amulet. So I'll get another 20% damage at barrels, but that's only for melee damage. So I'll probably have to. Well, I don't know if you can do Nightmare Zone, but I'll have a little look at it and see if it's possible. Grind out those points AFK inside of there. If that's a, if that's a thing in leagues, then I'll do that. Because I wanna imbue it for the uh thingy my bob. Alright, I literally just googled it and apparently the Nightmare Zone is resta restricted and players can instead obtain Nightmare Zone points by purchasing them for one coin a piece. That's an issue. Like that, that's a freaking issue because I think the self is like 800,000 points. Holy fuck dude, that, does that mean I have to go ahead and get myself 800,000 GP just to imbue the cell buy? That's expensive. Holy fuck, we just got a third Rainer Seed since we've gotten here. That's insane. We're gonna get so many Rainer Herbs. My plan for Snape Grass, which is a very limited item as well. I would need 67 farming, I believe, to, to plant those, which is, you know, gonna take way too long just to get some uh, prayer points. So what I'm gonna do instead is um, do the Barbarian training, unlock the cave down below, and then kill Water Fiends. I think I can drop noted 10 to 30 Snape Grass, so we can get access to those that should be very very worthwhile in order to uh, make a shitload of prayer pots. I'm gonna need those for barrows because I don't have last recall and if I have to run around for like every two kills that's not gonna be efficient at all. Ah well I just read up on it and it says despite appearing to be ghosts the barrow brothers do not have the undead attribute so it doesn't really matter. Task done, getting another one, and it literally dropped another Raynar Seed on that last kill. What the hell? There is Seed number 6. Getting more Raynar Seeds and then I get Mossy Keys, holy. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break from this just to uh, do a little farming run, and hopefully by the time we finish the farming run we should also have our uh, bird houses ready to go once again. We got two Mossy Keys saved up, we're gonna use those a little bit later in down, the, down the road. Also gonna do a bunch of limbward roots so we can make future uh, super strengths once we have everything required for those. So yeah, lots and lots of things happening. 
All right, and that is 73 hit points, but that's not the reason for recording. It is because I just hit 70 defense. We can now wear a bunch of shit, including Barrow's armor. Still got to do a bit of preparation before we go. we're going to start the Barrow's grind, however.